With the Chivalry 2 Steam release and the new balance patch, I thought it is finally time for me to make a weapon tier list. So I sat down and started dragging weapons into the tier list form, but midway through it came to my mind that this is not objective enough for my standards and I wanted to try something different. I thought it would be great to have more opinions. Knowledgeable players that rate the weapons alongside me, so we can average the scores and create one ultimate pop stomping weapon tier list. One list to rule them all. So for that I reached out to Chivalry 2's finest warriors, the best of the best, the creme de la creme. And it is my pleasure to introduce the jury. First we have Quasi, winner of both Chivalry 2 Trial by Blood dual tournaments and widely regarded as the best duelist slash player in North America. He also streams on Twitch. Next we have Fleeing Peon, one of the absolute best team objective players in Chivalry 2, always topping the scoreboards and the only player I know of that managed to get more than 200 takedowns in one game. And last but not least we have Homer, also known as Flawless Homer, an extremely versatile player and by many scene veterans considered as the best duelist and overall player in the entire European region. The task was to rate all melee weapons according to their potential for a high kill death ratio and high impact in a team objective game. So no duels or any other competitive mode. This is a pure team objective weapon tier list, as comparing weapons between game modes would just distort the outcome. I divided the scale into 5 tiers, from insanely good to bad. S tier gives 1 point, A tier 2 points, B tier 3 points, C tier 4 points and D tier 5 points. I then took the average score for each weapon and assigned it to its tier. Within a certain tier, weapons are also rated from best to worst, from left to right. My goal is to keep this video short and as concise as possible, so I will go over the weapons relatively fast and be very brief with explanations why certain weapons rank high or low. There simply wouldn't be enough time to include everyone's opinion without making an hour long video. So let's get into it. The sword, previously one of the best if not the best weapons in the game, got nerfed patch after patch. Peon thinks it's still S tier, the group average says A tier. The axe is B tier. The longsword is A tier, a very solid weapon with strong stabs. The battle axe is B tier, high damage but extremely short. The cudgel is D tier and has the second worst average score on the list. Slow, short and low damage. Next we have the dagger. Its special damage is really good, especially with the backstab multiplier from the ambusher class. Still, all in all C tier. The danex is A tier and with an average score of 1.75 relatively close to S tier. Homer actually gave it an S tier rating and I also had it in S tier at first, but I ultimately put it down one tier. Still, the Danex is the best axe in the game and an extremely solid choice for team objective matches. It has good damage, fast windups, fast combos and stupidly high throwing damage. The Executioner axe is B tier. Very long releases, which makes for good drags, but I don't really see a reason to use it over other long range weapons. The Falchion apparently had us divided. Quasi thinks it's A tier, Peon ranked it B tier, I gave it C tier and Homer even had it in D tier. The average score of that is right on the verge between B and C tier, so we round up and put it on top of C tier. The Greatsword is S tier and definitely one of the top team objective weapons. Good range, good damage, nice swing manipulation and a good special attack. The weapon just feels super smooth to play. The Halberd got two S tier and two A tier ratings. We again round up and put it on top of A tier. The Halberd went from wood tier to almost top tier within one patch, where they significantly buffed its overall damage output. The Hatchet is with a perfect score of 5.0 the worst weapon on this list and D tier. The Heavy Mace is B tier. The Highland Sword is S tier, even after its nerfs. It has insane damage combined with insane range and the fact that it is slow is not even a disadvantage in its case. Combined with the vision third person gives you, you can just spin around and mow down everything that moves. 
The knife is on top of D tier. The mace is B tier. The mole is on the lower end of A tier. Very high damage output combined with the recent buff to stamina damage of blunt weapons make the mole a very good pick in team objective matches. It is also the only weapon in the game that can one-shot a knight. The messer stands next to the halberd on top of A tier with two S tier and two A tier ratings. Besides being the number one choice for lots of duelists, the messer is also one of the best choices for team objective matches. The morning star is B tier. The one-handed spear is on the upper half of A tier. Very potent weapon with good mix-ups and a very nasty special attack. The pickaxe is C tier. The poleaxe is the best weapon in B tier. The pole hammer is A tier. A very solid all-rounder with the best special attack in the game. Its special damage is the second highest behind them all, but it has significantly more range. It also has the highest damage charging attack against knights. The rapier is on the lower end of B tier. Still good overall, but held back a bit by its lackluster 1vx capabilities. The short sword got to experience the ban hammer several times and is now C tier. The shovel is also C tier. And so is the sledgehammer. The two-handed spear is S tier and the only weapon on this list with a perfect 1.0 score. The weapon is just insanely strong. Amazing range with super fast stabs and really good mix-ups. The two-handed hammer is A tier. Very solid, very strong. The war axe is B tier. Compared to the battle axe, it does a little less damage but has a bit more reach. The war club is C tier. I have seen War Club specialists do reasonably well with the weapon. It is very fast and combined with a dodge heavy playstyle it can be very annoying to play against. All in all however, not that great of a team objective weapon. The Warhammer is tied with the one handed spear for the best one hander in team objective games and on the upper half of A tier. Even after its latest nerfs, the weapon is still really strong. And Similar to the War Club, the Glaive is C tier and mainly held back by its low damage output. Alright guys, I think that wraps it up nicely. If you enjoyed watching, then please leave a comment and a like and hit the subscribe button for more Chivalry 2 and other medieval slasher content. Again, big shoutout and thanks to Homer, Fleeing Peon and Quasi for being part of this video. As always, thank you all for watching and see you soon.